Hey, it's Dr. John here. Today, I want to give you a quick video of a patient who came in with a really painful wart-like lesion. The question is, is this really a wart? Well, actually, it's not. And this is what we call a deep callus or an intractable plantar keratosis. This is essentially due to biomechanics of his foot where he's putting an excessive amount of pressure right underneath the ball of the foot. And then in this case, right underneath the second metatarsal head. And what happens is that the skin's way of protecting itself is to build up callus. Well, if the callus builds and builds and builds, it just kind of deepens, hardens, impacts on itself. And then we've got this really dense, deep-seated callus, which essentially is a lot different than just your normal dime-sized, thin-layered callus, which can happen on different areas of pressure. The problem with his case is that now it feels like he's walking on this pebble or this you know, marble inside of his foot, and it can be very, very painful. So here I'm trying to carve it out as gently as possible making sure that you know we're not trying to go too deep and again with that 15 blade that is a surgical blade by the way the same exact blade i use in surgery to make incisions so again have to be very very careful this is definitely not something that anyone should attempt at home you should only see your podiatrist to have this done so as we're getting deeper and deeper you can see where that skin is starting to kind of be a whitish color that actually is the underlying tissues and dermis almost breaking down now this can be very dangerous for folks who are diabetic or who don't feel pain normally because it actually can cause an underlying wound or ulcer and that can be a problem where infection can come in and we can have a serious issue. Luckily for this young fellow who's about in his 20s, he didn't have any underlying wound. But I'm sure it felt like it because he came in and was very, very painful. So how do we treat these areas? Well, one, we have to work on avoiding the pressures underneath there, which can mean adjusting shoe wear utilizing orthotic inserts in your shoes, trying to control the biomechanics of the foot. And in this case, once we already have this area built up, what we'll end up doing is either treating it with freezing or microwave ablation, different methods to just stimulate the skin to repair this area. We need it to get increased blood flow to that spot. But bottom line is we, if we don't control the pressures underneath, underneath this spot, underneath the second metatarsal, this will continue to return. So now you can see it's as deep as we can get. I'm gonna try to get this little core out. It is a deep, deep little marble, pebble-like, area of skin that is just so hard but if you just start to dig away around that I'll end up making them bleed and it's not going to be pretty when that happens if that's the case so here just gently taking the tip of my 15 blade and trying to slowly loosen up that deep deep core and you can see if I've almost got it. And there we go. That little, little pebble-like lesion right there. So we'll probably need to treat him again in about two or three weeks. But over time, this area will improve. So here I'm using some cryogen. And I'm just going to freeze it to stimulate those tissues and hopefully we can start to get this to resolve quickly. But he's had it for several years, and that's the downside. Don't wait before you get these treated. 
The other thing that I tell patients afterwards is we utilize a softening cream to really slowly soften up that keratis, kerat, you know, kerat, uh, layer on top where we want to make sure that the buildup of skin does not continue. So he's going to be utilizing a cream on that bottom of that foot, rubbing it in daily after a shower. And that will hopefully eventually soften this all up and we will have a good looking foot. So here you can see that cryogen going in there. That is boiling off, which essentially, if you remember your chemistry, takes energy away from the skin and thereby we get that freezing effect. Same method we use for actual true plantar warts, which are viral in nature. This is not a virus infection. And so I'll see this patient back in about three or four weeks, and we will slowly try to treat this. But if you have a IPK or intractable plantar keratosis, make sure you see your podiatrist as soon as possible and use those softening creams. Hopefully you enjoyed. I will see you next time.